Hello everyone, my name is Zaryab and today we're going to talk about Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, what is Wi-Fi? Uh, Wi-Fi or wireless local area network is a technology that enables us to connect to the internet wirelessly. And there has been uh, standards given by IEEE who takes care of that, uh, but we won't dig uh, too deep in them, uh, just giving you an overview of them. So uh, the, uh, the first technology uh, of Wi-Fi, first generation of Wi-Fi to be exact, uh, is called 802.11b, which is also known as Wi-Fi 1. Um, that was given in 1999 and I'm not sure about the speeds but and uh, the second generation of Wi-Fi is 802.11a which was also uh, proposed or launched in 1999 and the third standard uh, which uh, gained a little bit of popularity uh, 802.11g which is also known as Wi-Fi 3 uh, and the fourth generation of Wi-Fi, which still we use till the day, 802.11n, uh, also known as wireless N or Wi-Fi 4, uh, which uh, we also use nowadays in our uh, home mostly, and we're not aware of them, but we do use them. And after that, uh, uh, 802.11ac, which uh, came in 2014 uh, also using it na nowadays in our homes and and latest one is Wi-Fi Wi-Fi 6 I'm sorry it's Wi-Fi 6 or 802.11 AX uh, which is nowadays the latest Wi-Fi and there's uh, like uh, we can say addition to that or revision to that which is uh, Wi-Fi 6E. Uh, I'll go into that uh, maybe in the next video or something. So we are going to talk about some problems. Uh, sometimes uh, you wonder why your internet suddenly stops working and you're in the middle of, of something and, uh, and out of nowhere your Wi-Fi uh, suddenly disconnects or stops working. Either you're doing something important or surfing the internet so there are a couple of reasons for that number one reason is the router uh, yes the router is the main reason why uh, well most of us uh, get uh, a router plus switch plus uh, access point something like this uh, which I got from my ISP so in that you can see uh, if the camera catches it so this port is called for DSL and these are this is the switch and this is the power and the power button we mostly use only this as our uh, modem this is the modem this is the switch and these antennas are obviously for Wi-Fi or access point and this uh, this one uh, only uh, what do you say uh, broadcast 2.5 gigahertz Wi-Fi so what do you want to get is something like this this is a Linksys router and this is uh, fairly uh, advanced which has uh, uh, 4 gigabit ports uh, LAN ports and a WAN port USB 3 for attaching your NAS network attached storage and this is basically power and uh, WPS and these are two antennas one is for uh, one is for uh, 2.4 gigahertz and one is for 5 gigahertz. Uh, I'll explain what is 2.4 gigahertz and what is 5 gigahertz. So what you want to do is uh, you want to change the uh, first you want to do is uh, use this uh, as a modem only. Well, how do you do that? Basically, you connect your uh, DSL obviously in here or in case of uh, other countries where you get cable modem you connect your cable modem and there you get something like this with your uh, cable as well let me tell you something how you do that so uh, let me just unwrap the cable when you uh, <coughs> you do all you do all you have to do is connect the one of this to your router is WAN port 
why WAN port? Well, you, if you want to get good speeds, then disable the uh, wireless on this modem, the primary modem, uh, uh, primary router, you can say. Uh, just use this as a modem and use this as your primary router but this will improve your internet speed drastically uh, if you're using a slower internet say 10 megabits or 20 megabits so it won't really affect it but uh, it will all it will definitely improve in the future if you're using a 50 megabits or say 100 megabits internet because uh, 2.4 gigahertz is also limited to certain speeds and uh, what you want to do is uh, there are lot, some tricks you want to do in the uh, Wi-Fi wi modem as well so Wi-Fi modem I am keep saying modem it's Wi-Fi router in the new router just I told you so what you want to do in the router is first of all change the channels there are 11 channels in your uh, well, 2.4 gigahertz spectrum so what you want to do is use uh, a tool something called Wi-Fi analyzer any kind of tool you can download it in Apple or uh, Play Store or any other platform whatever you are using so when you download the Wi-Fi analyzer you will uh, get to know which channel is best for uh, your uh, uh, Wi-Fi access point uh, uh, so basically uh, it's uh, channel 1 channel 6 or channel 11 uh, maybe it uh, is different in your area because uh, probably everyone has Wi-Fi and in 2.4 gigahertz everyone is using 2.4 gigahertz as well because most gadgets or legacy gadgets in your home like uh, some IOT devices also use 2.4 gigahertz rather than 5 gigahertz band so you want to tweak that uh, and use a good channel accordingly and also you want to change the channel width if your devices uh, do not have a problem with that you might want to switch to uh, 40 megahertz instead of 20 megahertz on 2.4 gigahertz so that would also improve your speed drastically also in 2.4 gigahertz you have better range on the other hand in 5 gigahertz the frequency is obviously high and the speeds are also high but the downside is the 5 gigahertz range is not as far as 2.4 gigahertz although we are having good speeds but uh, the range is uh, definitely the downside so you might want to see before choosing 5 gigahertz and switching to it permanently uh, the good thing about 5 gigahertz like on Wi-Fi 5 although 5 gigahertz has been in previous generations but uh, in Wi-Fi 5 uh, 5 gigahertz has a uh, has advantage of using multi-use MU MIMO multi-user multi-input multi-output uh, what does that mean is uh, for example in Wi-Fi 4 uh, where there is multiple input multiple output but that is only for one user in Wi-Fi 4 you have to wait uh, for example uh, like uh, four gadgets are connected to one wireless network so one wireless network uh, on the word wireless network it does uh, what has what the problem is that it has to wait uh, each device has to wait for its turn uh, to get the packet uh, up uh, like sending or receiving so that is a little bit of problem if uh, uh, more than like uh, say 10 or 20 devices are connected to that access point so it might be bottleneck and you might be experiencing low speeds or sometimes uh, Wi-Fi not working at all the good thing is MU MIMO is you uh, get to connect multiple clients to the uh, Wi-Fi network uh, your own Wi-Fi network and uh, all of the clients are addressed or served uh, simultaneously and this is the best part of Wi-Fi 5 multi-user multi-user uh, multi multiple input and multiple output so 
uh, choose accordingly choose according to your needs and if you have the budget you might want to switch to Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 6e uh, if you have the uh, budget also the devices that support Wi-Fi 6 because obviously it has better range and uh, better speeds of course number two uh, wireless security uh, you might have changed into uh, a password uh, that is not written on your Wi-Fi router, the default password, but you might want to use a good password, which is alphanumeric. Also, it is recommended to use some uh, special characters, so uh, your key is more secure. Uh, don't use a very common password. Uh, you don't want anyone to hack into your Wi-Fi network or uh, so now we talk about the wireless security wireless security is very important for example if you're using WEP or web in short it might it is very very insecure someone can easily hack into your wireless network might do something illegal and the authorities might think it's you and they end up knocking on your door you don't want that so it is recommended to at least switch to WPA2 uh, AES and if uh, your equipment is modern for ex modern for example uh, Wi-Fi 6 router AX router or uh, Wi-Fi 6e router uh, you should use WPA3 uh, just to take advantage of that because of its advanced encryption features another good thing you want to do is use a guest network uh, the good thing about guest network is that it does uh, the person uh, using the guest network does not have access to the main network uh, it's on a different it might be on different uh, uh, what you say ban also you can also you can uh, like limit the bandwidth how much uh, you want to give it to the guests so you end up using uh, the internet for yourself as well with that being said thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and i guess i'll see you in the next one thank you